politeness is when people show respect towards one another and that should be expressed more in our society. Politeness, pagbibigay galang sa mas nakakatanda, ang po at opo ay isang simbolo ng pagbibigay respeto sa isa. Mahalaga din ang pagiging magalang kasi ito'y nagpapakita ng respeto sa iba at upang igalang din tayo ng ating kapwa. Just being polite can make a difference in someone's attitude and reflect respect into them and they will show respect back. Hospitality is the act of kindness and welcoming and looking after the basic needs of customer. The hospitality industry is a broad group of businesses that provide services to customers. The industry can be broken down into three basic areas, accommodation, food and beverage, and travel and tourism. His hospitality, ito ay isa sa mga katangian nating mga Pilipino ang may magandang pakikitungo sa kapwa. At napapotunayan ito kapag tayo ay may bisita o panauhuhin sa ating bahay, aasikasuhin ito ng maayos at iibigay ang magandang serbisyo. At may mga pagkakataon pa na kahit walang wala ka ay hanap ka ng pera para lang may pakain sa bisita ng masarap na ulam. At maging sa higaan, gusto natin na maging comfortable sila. Kaya inilalabas natin ang mga gamit na tinatago-tago natin upang ipagamit sa kanila. This to show our care and to make them feel that they are welcome in our home. Gratitude is the capacity of appreciating the positive benefits we receive in life. There is a reason gratitude is the capstone of the seven capacities of positive leadership. Gratitude, a feeling of thankfulness and showing of appreciating to someone or something. Kung baga utang na loob natin sa isang tao na tumulong sa atin o nagmabuting loob sa panahon ng tayo ay nangangailangan. Ngunit marami rin umaabuso sa katangyang ito. Marahil may mga taong mapangabuso na minsan ay sobra-sobra ang hinihingi na hindi naman dapat Bagkos tayo ay magpa, magpasalamat ay may mga tao laging tumutulong at handang dumam, dumamay sa panahon ng kagipitan. Gratitude is essential to the thriving of individuals and communities. Shame can be defined as a feeling of embarrassment or humiliation that arises in relation to the perception of having done something dishonorable, immoral, or improper. Shame. We Filipino people, we have this kind of attitude. Basically, most of people do those things that they did what would be the possible effect to someone they communicate with. Shame is one of the most embarrassed things. This kind of attitude shows the personality of each Filipino people. So I think the accountable of all those things learn how to avoid some of things that will be affected to someone you talk. While shame is a negative emotion, its origin play a part in our sub- our survival as a species. Flexibility, adaptability, and creativity. Filipino sense of joy and humor is evident in their optimistic approach to life and its trivials. The ability to laugh at themselves under predicament is an important copying mechanism that contributes to a bi- to emotional balance and a capacity to survive. These are manifested in the ability to adjust to often difficult circumstances and prevailing physical and social environments. Filipinos have a high tolerance for ability that enables them to respond calmly to uncertainty or lack of information, Filipinos often improve, improvise and make productive and innovative use of whatever is available. These qualities have been repeatedly demonstrated and this capacity to adapt to living in any part of the world and their ability to accept changes. In this short information about physical activities of a Filipino serve as a Evidence on how they used the copying mechanism to contribute the emotional balance and capacity to survive. With this, it is shown as the flexibility, adaptability, and creativity of Filipinos. Loyalty Loyalty or pakikisama is another Filipino value. Filipinos are said to be loyal to their friends and fellow men.
In order to ensure the peace in the group, this is manifested in their basic senses of justice and fairness and concern for other well-being. Filipinos recognize the essential humanity of all people and regard others with respect and empathy. With this orientation, Filipinos develop sensitivity to the nature and quality of interpersonal relationships which are their principal source of security and happiness. When we say loyalty, is the feeling of devotion or faithfulness we have toward our family, members, country, or cause in which we believe. Loyalty the Filipinos really love or the Filipinos when it comes to socializing in the other people. Hard work and industry. The related capacity for hard work and industry among Filipinos is widely recognized. Filipinos are universally regarded as excellent workers who perform well whether the job involves physical labor and tasks or highly sophisticated technical functions. This propensity for hard work, which often includes a highly competitive spirit, is driven by the desire for economic security and advancement for oneself and one's family. This achievement orientation is further accompanied by typically high aspiration and great personal sacrifice. Hard work serves as a holy grail of every single Filipinos, and we are known to act like one in the board desk since we Filipinos are massively hospitable. In all aspects, as we are extremely unique, not only Asia, but in every narrow corners of the world, we smile and carry positivity that also reflects our religious values, relationships, and the connection we make to other people. However, we cannot deny the fact that behind these attributes, there is a faithful true many Filipinos are poor. But, as what I've said earlier, we have this positivity inside us. We are very much innovative, hardworking, and optimistic. We always have a reason to move forward because we are not just Filipino. We are Filipino. Pinos. Resignation. Trust in God or the concept of bahala na has overused time and again. This ideal is used when a person does not know what to do or is lazy to do anything at all. This belief to put faith in God's hands may be a sign of how religious Filipino may be and at the same time show that the Filipinos are free-spirited and that they put their life in faith's hands. So, di ba, madalas natin naririnig yung word na yan, especially pag ang dami na natin iniisip at hindi na natin alam yung gagawin. Mapapasabi na lang talaga tayo na bahala na. Para bang iniaasa na natin kagad lahat kung anong man yung mangyayari sa atin or sa buhay natin, which is hindi naman dapat lahat. Yes, dapat tayong mag-trust sa kanya kasi through him nothing is impossible naman talaga, di ba? Pero we also need to work hard or to give our very best kung gusto talaga nating umangat sa life. Kasi hindi naman lahat ibibigay sa atin eh. Kailangan din nating paghirapan, di ba? Kasi si God parang yung mga parents din natin. Igaguide lang tayo kung ano yung need natin gawin for us to learn and to be a better person in the future. Kasi if always lang natin sasabihin na bahala na kung anong kalalabasan nito, bahala na kung anong magiging future ko without trying really hard, wala talaga wala talagang mangyayari. Okay lang, okay, okay na itra surrender natin lahat kay Lord kasi kasi nga 'di ba, mas lubos na pinagpapala ang mga totoong naniniwala. Pero dapat sabayan din natin ang gawa. Significance of studying Filipino values. The shaping of the Philippine society into a successful and progressive nation would depend 
on understanding and appreciating the positive side of Filipino values and how they are applied to attain such goal. So, why we need to study Filipino values? So, kailangan natin itong pag-aralan or importanteng pag-aralan ito sapagkat makakatulong ito sa atin to grow and develop as a person. So, una nating matututunan ng values sa bahay. Ika nga nila, ba? Diba? Our first classroom is our home at ang unang teacher naman natin is yung mga parents natin. So, kung ano yung tinatak o tinuro sa atin, madadala natin yun habang lumalaki. It also helps us to create the future we want to experience. The decision we make a reflection of our values and beliefs. Kasi diba, kung ano yung pinapakita natin, nating values, nag-reflect yun sa personality natin. So, I have here 10, Filip- 10 example of Filipino values. First one is pakikisama, hiya, utang na loob, fa- close family ties, bahala na, amor propio or self-love, bayanihan, hospitality, ningas kugon, and respect for elders. Students' transformational and en- enrichment of root step. This refers to the inculcation of virtues and providing offer- opportunities to concretely express commitment to the common goals. So, ano nga ba ang step? Ang purpose ng step are to develop social entrepreneurs serving com- communities as value-driven innovators for progress. To protect and enhance the Filipino youth, physical, mental, spiritual, and social-emotional well-being. Inculcate patriotism nationalism and encourage their involvement in public and civic affair. So, meron tayong four components of STEP, which is soft skills, reflect on how you work in general with others and by yourself, language and communication skill, example nito is listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Life skill, including yoga, physical fitness, health and hygiene. And lastly, awareness of trends in technology. Fundamental components of the STET paradigm. Leadership education and administrative development or lead. It involves capability building for leadership through training, education and development. Teachers are leaders all day. They lead by example in the way they act, speak, and behave. They should be a good example to the student kasi kung ano yung nakikita ng mga students sa isang guro, minsan na-adapt nila ito. Teachers who strive to lead should be strong educators with an understanding of how to best serve students. Second one, it focuses on the principle-centered leadership paradigm practiced from the inside out on four level levels which is personal, interpersonal, managerial, and organizational. When it comes to leadership style and education naman, there's no one right approach. Effective education leadership means adapting one's leadership style to suit a situ- situation. Dahil sa pagbabago ng panahon, nagbabago din ang way ng pagtuturo. Pero may mga bagay pa rin na di dapat magbago pagdating sa pagtuturo. Yun ay ang pag-unawa sa pagbabago ng panahon ng moralidad. Ang pagkakaroon ng pagkakaintindihan sa teacher-student relationship. In personal aspect, ang isang mabuti at magaling na teacher ay may malasakit sa mga students niya. In interpersonal aspect, dapat ang teacher ay may concern ay may good communication sa kanyang mga students. In managerial aspect, si school, school manager or manage the school and formulate policies that best suit the needs of student and school as well as the overall interest of the students. Situational analysis for integrative living or result 
It refers to a need assessment strategy. It consists of consultative and participatory processes. It involves stakeholder and interest group. It analyzes strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat relative to the well-being of students and the community. And last, it is continuous process. The participatory process is specific methods employed to achieve active participation by all members. An assessment strategy, which means is different tools or techniques employed by the instructor to evaluate their student, for example. Holistic emancipation from life pressure or health. It is an integrative approach responsive to the development of the four interrelated dimension of human nature, which is the physical, mental, spiritual, and social emotional. And it includes generation of support through networking, linking, and collaborative projects. Last, it takes into consideration the multidimensional, interdisciplinary, and dynamic nature of community development. The four interrelated dimension of human nature, which is the physical, mental, spiritual, and social-emotional. The social-emotional is uh, our relationship formed by others. And the second one is mental, the specific stimuli affecting our cognitive function from form by well-being. And physical, the specific stimuli affecting our physical function form and well-being. The last one is spiritual. Philosophy and religion have made this area fairly complex. And the linking and collaborative project. The collaborative project allow groups of people to work together to create the online content. Worthy organizational refer reaffirmation of knowledge for society or the works. It is an operational mechanism for student initiatives in carrying out projects to benefit society. It is enabled to stu the student to op operational the values of integrating the personal and national perspective. Continuing action of reengineering and empowerment, which is the care. It is a sustainability measure which adapts the six conditions of the operational concept of empowerment, character, skills, win-win agreement, self-supervision, health for structure, and accountability. It, is, it includes feedback mechanism, monitoring, and evaluation of activities, awards, and incentive, incentives.